Welcome to Dark Horse Workshop, everybody. Today I'm going over the X-Tool D1 Laser Cutter Engraver. It has a 16 by 17 inch cutting area, which is pretty awesome. Let's have a look. One of the things I'm going to show you how to do is how I take a JPEG image, make it a vector, and then use my laser cutting software. We're gonna go over that after I just say a few things about what my favorite parts of the X-Tool are. You could certainly go look up all the specs on it, and get all of the very perfect details on this product. But the things that I liked about it the most were super solid construction, incredibly easy to put together, and it's rather large at 16 inch by 17 inch area for your engraving and cutting. The instructions on how to put it together were great, and everything was a breeze really, so if you're worried about putting something together, you don't have to worry about this. Xtool did send me the D1 for free, and if you're interested in a laser and want to help support the channel, you can use my link in the description of this video to check them out. Usually this is where I'd mention a coupon code, but right now Xtool has a ridiculous St. Patrick's Day sale on, so be sure to have a look at that. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys how to take a JPEG image and hopefully turn it into something useful for your laser cutter of choice. Uh, so we're just gonna use Illustrator here and I'm gonna go through the few steps that I do to get things ready for your laser. All right, so once you've got your image in here, one of the things you're gonna quickly find out is, it's a JPEG, so it's got a bunch of fuzzy edges. I'm gonna, this is really easy. You're gonna select your image. Now over here in the image trace properties, we are going to open it up to the advanced and we are going to fiddle with these until this looks as nice as we can get it to look. A lot of it'll do with, uh, threshold will make it either thicker or thinner lines. See how it thins it out? So I want to just play with these until I'm happy with it. That's not bad. We're going to ignore white as well. So we'll get rid of your white background. Oh, what's going on there? That's weird. It's, is this gonna become a terrible example? Yeah, it was just the paths were a little weird. So you just gotta watch out for stuff like that. Take your paths down. I'm gonna take my threshold down a bit more. Then we are going to um, expand. Now we have our vectorized artwork. So we can just save and we're gonna, we want it to be an SVG file and we are ready to bring it into Lightburn and I'll show you how to do that. We'll mess around with something pretty simple. Maybe we'll do it in wood and leather just to see the difference for you guys, so. All right, we're gonna open up our SVG. This is our burnable area. According to the X tool, I'm pretty sure it figures that out and puts it into Lightburn for you. Then we got to figure out our speed and power. This is ridiculous. I was just fooling around currently with some random stuff I was working on. You're gonna have to play around and figure out your sweet spot. You know, keep a little journal of notes of what works, what doesn't. 3,000, 90 max power. Anyways, we're gonna start this and see how it goes. Hopefully, it's fast and uh, looks good. You know? So we've done the puck board or whatever kind of board it is, and it's got a pretty good groove. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do a leather uh, cut of the same uh, image. I just wanna see how it'll turn out if we go like, you know, still near max power at 90% power and rocking at like, I don't know, 6,000 speed or something on leather. It may be a smoke show. We'll find out really soon here. So there we go, we've got our, our puck board and our leather piece, both with the same image, a bit different on the power and time. Uh, let's have a look at both of them, see what we think about them. The laser cut really nice and deep on the wood, and because we were moving a lot faster on the leather, 
it's a lot lighter on the leather, but both turned out really nice. Well, that's about it for the X-Tool D1. I'm super happy the companies are finally sending this channel a few products that will interest you guys as well as myself. Subscribe for future videos and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my content. Also remember that if you are interested in medieval and fantasy inspired leatherworking patterns and artwork, be sure to check out darkhorseworkshop.com, link in the description down below. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.